Hello, students. So, few classes from today onwards, I am going to solve numerical problems based on uh, Bayot Savard's law and uh, its applications. Okay. So, now let us see the first problem here. A straight thin conductor is uh, bent as shown in the figure. Is bent as shown in the figure. It carries a current I amperes. The radius of the arc is small r meters. Then the magnetic induction at the center of the semicircular is. So, there is a given question here. So, it is a combination of straight wire carrying current and uh, semicircular arc. Okay. So, that means here, see this one. This is like a semi is straight wire, infinity is straight wire. But the very important is you just see this. So, we want to find what is the magnetic induction at this point, O point. So, when we want to find <coughs> the magnetic field, a magnetic induction at the point O, there are two parts here. One is the straight wire A, B, C, D, other one is circular part B, C. Okay? But very important here is this point where we want to find the magnetic induction is on the axis of the wire. You just check, check, check that. See, this is our wire. So, it is on the axis of the wire. That means what? The dis perpendicular distance between the current carrying uh, conductor and the point is 0. Therefore, magnetic field equal to 0. That is very important here. <coughs> so, magnetic field due to straight part is B1 and due to circular part is B2. Therefore, here our solution will be now net of magnetic field B is equal to, he is asking only magnitude B1 plus B2, B1 plus B2, right. So, what is B1 here? 0, B1 is 0. So, that is 0 plus what is B2? So, what are the options given here? Let us check uh, what are the options given here. So, mu naught, see uh, various option 1, uh, option 1 it has been given mu naught pi i, mu naught pi i upon 4 pi r, this first option. The second option, it has been given mu naught by 4 pi, mu naught by 4 pi into second option pi i by r square, pi i by r square. Third option, it has been given 0 and uh, fourth option, it has been given uh, that is infinity. So, there are the options given. Then we have to check correct option. So, for a semicircle we know already what is the magnetic field at the center mu naught i uh, upon 2r, isn't it? Mu naught i by 2r, but see the answers given here. That is very important. So, here we have to modify that, this part. That is what we know for a semicircular part the magnetic induction will be actually, what is our general formula? Mu naught by 4 pi into I by R into phi. That is our general formula. So, when the answer is in terms of pi, we go for general formula. Semicircle, we know phi is what? That is the angle made by the arc of circle at the center is how much? Pi. Therefore, this part will become mu naught by 4 pi into pi into i divided by r. So, what is our answer now? Final answer? The final answer will be mu naught by 4 pi into pi into i divided by r. That is our final answer. Check mu naught pi i <coughs> divided by 4 pi r. Therefore, our correct option is 1. 
one is the correct option. So, these models are very common in all the exam, MSET exam, NEET exam, uh, JE main, all exam, they will ask models like this. So, we will see all the models that has been asked so far and that can be expected. Okay. So, that is our first problem. Next, uh, let us go to the <coughs> second problem here. That is, uh, our second problem is here. So, problem number two, two concentric circular coils A and B, two concentric circular coils, two concentric circular coils, circular coils, coils A and B, A and B <coughs> of radii of radii radii 25 centimeter and 15 centimeters 25 centimeters and 15 centimeters carries current carries 10 ampere carries 10 ampere and 15 ampere respectively, 15 ampere respectively, 15 ampere respectively, 15 ampere respectively. Right. Next, the direction of currents are in opposite order the direction of currents the direction of currents are in opposite order opposite order opposite order right next what do you want to find the magnetic induction at common center is the magnetic induction at common center is magnetic induction at common center is common center is so here we are calculating only magnitudes so what are the magnitudes given let us see that first bit so, first bit it has been given uh, that is 120 mu naught Tesla, 120 mu naught Tesla. Next, uh, option 2 it has been given 480 mu naught Tesla. C, uh, three, uh, third option it has been given 420 mu naught Tesla and uh, Option 4, mu naught Tesla. These are the options given. So, opposite order only how to take because we are calculating magnitude in Luno. So, when you are calculating magnitude, you take positive value, larger value as positive and smaller value as negative. Okay? So, see that uh, two concentric circles here. So, concentric coils, two concentric coils. Okay? So, that is, suppose this is one coil, right, and uh, this is another coil, two concentric coils, this is another coil, these are the two coils. So, these are the two coils here. So, this is second coil we have, these are our second coil, right, two coils carrying current in opposite sense. Means what? One is carrying clockwise, other one is carrying anti-clockwise. Okay? So, where is the common center we want now? We want at the common